Hi everyone and welcome to And So On. My name is Lisa and today I have two pairs of pajamas to show you. Okay, so if you'll remember my plans a little while ago, I showed you this Art Deco fabric that I had from Minerva and I definitely, definitely wanted to make a set of classic pajamas. And I had looked at a couple of options. I had looked at a free set on um, thefabricstore.com. Of course, there are the Carolyn pajamas. But literally right as I was looking at that, after I just published the video, um, a call came through from Winterwear Designs to ask for testers for their new classic sleep set. And I thought, well, that's, that's like serendipity. Of course I should do that. So I did the testing process for these uh, pajamas and they were great. I mean, I actually had no issues at all with my tester set, maybe one like little thing, but they turned out great. So I started off by making a set from that thrifted sheet that I showed you last time. And it's so fun. It's in rainbow plaid and I don't have it with me because it's in the wash, but I'm going to put in pictures of my rainbow plaid pajamas. Um, these ones are full length, full arms. Sleeping in a sheet is nice, right? Because it's, well, I mean, it's like your sheets. So it's very soft against the skin. And I put some fun buttons on there to kind of echo the fun fabric. And I used the same color drawstring for the waist. There wasn't initially, I think on the first tester pattern, um, marks for where you put the drawstring, but on the final one, she put them. Um, she also put pockets in there. I didn't I didn't bother with the pockets because I don't really feel like I needed them, but uh, I tried them on and I absolutely love them. They're a little bit oversized. That kind of boyfriend fit is the is the um, the name of the style, and yeah, they turned out great. So I did those in time for the testing period to end, and then I decided to make my good pair from the Art Deco fabric. Now, before I bring them out, the Art Deco fabric is also like it's like a quilt quilting cotton right so it's not quite like a sheet but it's got that kind of feel to it and i decided in the end to do kind of a spring summer version because the plaid ones were already full length i thought why do i need to make another pair of full length ones when i just made them so i made um, a modified mid-length one so there is in this pattern three quarter length and short sleeved and there's long and cropped pants plus pockets plus it's got a ton of different you know ideas so i went with that so let me show you okay so we'll start with the top and here it is so i love this this turned out so so well uh, if you saw my video a little while ago about the sun blouse my adventures in piping this is still a little bit adventures, adventures in piping for sure. I, I kind of forgot, well, I didn't read very closely as you might've heard before if you've ever watched me. Um, and I didn't quite get the coming around the corner here on the piping. So that part around here isn't so great, but uh, the piping on the, on the pocket turned out really well. Um, and then on the sleeve here, so there is a sleeve cuff that goes lower. I put on this piping and I tried it on. I was like, you know what? That's the right length. I don't really need to, uh, to add a cuff on top. So I've just left it kind of open with the blue at the edge, which I really like. And then if you can see here, I did some pattern matching. Very proud of myself there. The only thing is that I, I made the pocket, I, I top stitched around the pocket first and then I placed it and then I top stitched again. And I kind of wish that I had just placed it and top stitched it so that I don't have this double line. That said, that's being pretty picky on myself, isn't it? <laughs> um, and then I've got the, the piping up here. Um, the other thing it, that I had to do was because the, because I wasn't paying enough attention when I cut the two fronts, they weren't right up. Well, I don't know. I miscut it somehow. And so in order to get it to pattern match across the front, I had to make the, I had to put the buttonholes and the buttons closer to the edge. Because if I put them where they were supposed to be, um, they, it wouldn't be pattern matched down the front. So I don't think you can tell that by looking at it. Of course, it makes the, um, the shirt a little bit more loose, but that's fine. Um, and then it's got this facing inside the back, there's no pleat or anything at the back. It's got a kind of like a, uh, not a high low, but like a shirt tail hem. And yeah, I'll put in some pictures. Uh, and I actually took a video as well that I can put in at some point. Uh, then here are the pants. 
So also very cute, very easy, very simple. There isn't even a separate waistband. You're just, you're just folding it down to create the channel. What I did for this is I did both elastic and a drawstring. So I did enough elastic to keep it up over my hips so that it doesn't fall down if, because I have a pair of jogging pants that I wear to, that I wear to bed all the time and they are thrifted men's jogging pants that I had intended to cut up. And then I tried them on, I was like, oh, these are really comfortable, but they're only, well, it, you know what? There might actually be elastic in there, but because it's an extra large men, it, it's not enough to stay up on me anyway, <laughs> but it seems like it's just a drawstring. And if I'm not careful, like they just fall. So <laughs> I put elastic first so they won't fall. And then I put the drawstring to, you know, if I'm walking around, but I don't like anything tight on my stomach while I'm sleeping. It's a huge pet peeve of mine. I do not like anything tight on my waist. So, and then again, I made these short. I didn't put the cuff on these. I just left them as is. And yeah, they turned out really, really cute. So I'm very pleased with this project. I can totally recommend the pattern. I'll link to it below. Like I said, I got it free because I was, um, I was testing the pattern and I also got the fabric for free because it's with Minerva and I did it in exchange for a blog post. I will put that blog post below so you can see. And yeah. Okay, I think that's mostly it for today. The only other thing I wanted to tell you about is I've started a Kofi account. So um, I started a little while ago and I just started putting it in the description of the videos, but didn't actually tell you guys. So I'm saving for some extra camera equipment to improve my videos with the um, earnings that I got from when I did the creative bug drive to for you guys to sign up for creative bug, which you can still do. That's another way to um, help me out. Every time someone signs up for creative bug through the link below, I get $8 just for a free trial or a $1 trial, depending on what's on at the time. And um, if you sign up for that, I get $8, which is really, really helpful. And I used the money last time to buy the microphone, the directional microphone that I'm using now. And I feel like the quality of the audio in my videos has really improved. So I hope you agree. Uh, but if you prefer not to do that, or you've already done that, and you would like to buy me a coffee, I would certainly appreciate that. And I put the coffee link below, and that will allow me to improve some of my videos and some of my camera equipment. Okay guys, that's all for me. I hope that wherever you are, the sun is shining and you are sewing, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.